Hey, what is going on? We are up here on a Sunday uh, checking out our barn. And today we are gonna talk about the cupolas that are going on the barn. We have three, one real big one in the middle and then one on each end of the barn. So I wanna talk today about, you know, really what the cupola is, what we ended up buying, what they're made out of and how they're getting installed. And then uh, we're probably gonna do a second part to this on the day we install them, just how they go on. But I'm gonna show you what all is going into getting them ready to be installed. So let's turn the camera around or actually let me get out of the way so you can see. And we'll talk a little bit about the framing aspect that went into uh, getting, the, getting the barn ready for these cupolas. All right, so as you saw in the last video, you have one, two, three, two decent sized ones, and then our big one. Uh, just so you know, the decent sized ones are like, uh, inside dimensions are 21 and a quarter by 21 and a quarter, and the big one is, pro is double that at least. So uh, let's talk about what you're seeing up here on the roof. Let's zoom in to the big one because it's going to be the one you're probably going to be able to see the best. And what you're seeing there is essentially a box built on top of the truss lacers out of two by six. And that box is built to the inside dimensions of our cupola base. Sorry, there you go. Of our cupola base. And so what's going to happen is, is we're going to set the cupola base over the top of that, but not before we put some flashing that's going to go up the two by sixes and then down out onto the roof and then our cupola bases will sit on top of that and so we'll we're able to flash behind them and in a sense waterproof it and any water that might try to get behind the cupola base will not get past the metal and be kicked out onto the roof so those also are there and built that tall because that's how it's the base is fastened to the roof so it's a kind of a, a double-edged sword with the flashing aspect uh, being able to fix flashing to it, but then also we're able to uh, secure the cupola itself to that framing. So um, you see one there for the smaller ones, exact same scenario, exact same process. Um, so let's go look at, and if you'll notice those boxes are installed on the pitch of the roof, continuing with the pitch of the roof. So we're gonna cut the bases accordingly. So let's go inside and let's take a look at, in the shade, let's take a look at the cupolas themselves. All right, so this is the base for the big cupola that we were talking about that's gonna go right in the center of the barn. This is the base and it's about two foot tall. And uh, you can see we've made some reference marks already right there. Uh, maybe you can see it right there. That's center point. Uh, basically what's going to happen is, is we're going to cut the base out on the pitch of the roof. So on the north and south side, you'll see a flat edge just like that right there on the bottom. And then on the north, on the east west side, you'll see this thing will be cut. There it is right there. He's got it drawn on the outside. This thing will be cut out on that pitch, that lines, those lines going up and down that you see right there. So that allows us to uh, set the base on top of our framing that's already up there. And then like I said, there'll be flashing that goes behind it. And, uh, um, and that flashing will waterproof the inside of the barn so we don't have any leaks. Because anytime we have a penetration in a, in a roof, that's big potential for leaks but uh, we're solving that with our flashing so the next thing we'll talk about is what this stuff is made out of it's a pvc product um, i believe my parents actually found these and ordered them from home depot actually uh, they were significantly cheaper than if I, we completely made them out of copper um, or any kind of metal for that matter and uh, they're PVC, so they're rot resistant. And uh, they're a little flimsy, but um, I think they'll do their trick once they're all tied together and, and installed up there. So we're hoping so anyways. 
Um, I do have to do some fixing to one of them, one of the small ones. It came in shipped, and uh, you can see right here the base broke. But uh, I've got some L brackets that I'm going to fasten to the inside, and uh, I think I can fix that problem, and we're going to do that today. I'm going to screw it from the backside as well as uh, put those L brackets in. So I bought some weather resistant screws so, and those L brackets will be on the inside where weather shouldn't be a problem. And so uh, we'll be able to handle it from there. This is what's gonna sit on top of that. And here in a minute, I'll show you about what it's gonna look like assembled. Um, and then we've got these vents right here on the back side. Um, I think my parents were a little bit worried that uh, birds and things like that would get in here but clearly there's no bird squeezing through that what i don't want to have happen and maybe they'll probably say that uh, that was their intent the whole time but i'm pretty sure it wasn't is that i don't want wasps and things like that getting in here and making great big giant um nests and things like that because actually it will this will be open to the top of because the, there's no ceiling so I, am, I bought some screening today and uh, we're going to staple some screening to the back sides of these things and get them fully ready to go whenever they, uh, whenever they go up. And then these small ones as well, uh, there's one still in the packaging here. Here's how it came from Home Depot. Um, I, all I've done is cut the pa packaging open. Um, I'll show you how these blocks are on the underneath side and they actually wedge into here. And then you've got screws. Anyways, I'll show you all that here in a minute whenever I get them all, uh, whenever I start doctoring them all up and getting them assembled. So the last thing I want to show you is the top of the big one. I don't have the top of the smaller ones here yet. I'll bring them out this week. But uh, we're also today treating, or actually probably tomorrow evening, going to treat the copper for these. Uh, so my, my parents want the copper to... Uh, stay nice and shiny for as long as possible. It won't stay that way for forever, but for at least as long as possible before the uh, copper patina is all out and uh, turns a dark brown. So they really like the copper itself look. So let's look at the, uh, so we've seen the base for the big one. The next thing I'm gonna show you is kind of the middle section, the uh, what would typically be like the vent section for the middle one because it's pretty cool. So let's take a look at that. It's right here. Uh, it's got uh, these like kind of faux arched windows on it, uh, which are kind of neat. And uh, inside of here, and this is all made out of that PVC once again. See, they've got re weather resistant screws, how it's all put together and they've stapled it. So I pretty f feel pretty confident I'm gonna be able to fix that other one. Uh, inside of these windows is actually like a plexiglass that they've just glued from the back side and then they fastened it with uh, these little, um, they're probably like three quarter inch by three quarter inch uh, stringers that are just kind of holding that glass in place as well. You can see where they're rabbited out to, uh, to sit over the top of that glass. So this is pretty cool. Give you a full walk around view of that. All four sides look about the same it looks like i don't know if it was just for shipping or what it looks like this came off this came off of one side but i don't know if that's a shipping detail or not i'll have to look into that and if it's an integral part i'll have to uh, get that glued back on and fastened back on before they hang it um, I don't know that it is, but it may be what the copper lid sits down on. So let's go look at the copper lid right now. Here it is right here. We're walking up to it. And so this is the copper top. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can see a hole right in the very top of it. I believe we have a, have, have a weather vane that I'll show you in the part two of this series that'll, uh, that we'll be able to slide down through the top of that when we install it. So let's, uh, let's get to fixing the cupolas 
or what we can and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that and then we will end uh, part I'll show you one kind of fully assembled how the base uh, how the kind of middle section slides over the base so we'll get to that and then whenever we uh, get the copper tops treated I'll treat the copper tops. Oh God, I feel like I'm fumbling all over it. I will treat the copper tops and we will do an installation as part two of this video. Uh, maybe the treating of the copper tops will be a part two and then installation part three. We'll just see how it goes and how long the videos end up being. But if I keep rambling like I'm rambling right now, the videos are gonna be really, 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 really long. So I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna fix a cupola base. You're gonna see that. And then I'm going to show you one stack together, finish unboxing the one over there that you've seen boxed up. And then we will end part one. Stand by. Okay, so the base, fixing the base. You can see where they've drawn the roof pitch uh, for the cutout for this base on here, which is good. It's going to give me a guideline of what I can go off of. So here is the issue that you can see. The base is cracked down that end uh, I just quickly drove in one screw um, just to kind of help tack it for me and then uh, what we're gonna do to fix it is I'm afraid with this material unless it's fixed in multiple areas it's just gonna pull out um, the screws will just pull out because that material is kind of a I don't know it's like a compressed PVC or something it's not uh, it's not exactly gonna just hold every single screw, I don't think. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what I got. Um, I have these L brackets. I bought two different sizes just to see. Uh, trash, uh, this is like cleaning up after your kids. Uh, Duke is out. Hey Duke, Duke, hey. Are you eating leftover Mexican food? Huh, is that what you're up here for? I thought you were up here to work. Oh, you're gonna lay out in the wonderful pond that I can probably drain now and uh, eat Mexican food, great. So, okay, so I bought these to uh, basically help strap it together. So it's got, help, I'm sorry, help strap it on this side and then strap it here. So uh, hopefully that'll help hold it all together a whole lot better than just trying to like run screws in through the side, especially finding screws that long that uh, wouldn't end up just pulling right out and causing problems. So like problems like my focus problem with my camera right now. Um, there you go. So, uh, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Let me get to it. So there it is. Um, I ended up using all four because I had them and I was thinking, you know, this thing's going to be 30 feet in the air. If something goes wrong, we're never going to be able to get to it again. Um, that didn't pull together as tight as I was hoping that it would. Uh, but I think we can just fill it with uh, some caulking and, and uh, on the inside and the out and it be fine for what it is. It's just a cupola base, so it'll work, I'm sure. Uh, maybe I can grab some longer screws and now suck them in from the side and see if I can pull it, pull it tight. Uh, maybe I need to loosen uh, some of those on the inside and see if I can pull it together and then grab it, but I'm not sure I've got a screw long enough here today to do that. 
So maybe I'll just try to get to that before uh, before we hang them. So anyways, uh, I did put them up high enough uh, to make sure that if they, whenever they made their cut for the, uh, for the roof pitch that all of those are missing, not in the way. And I guess now let's, uh, let's take the two middle portions that have the vents and let's put some screening on them and let me talk to you about what we're doing with that. All right, so here we go once again with these. Uh, one thing that I did notice, this corner has been broken, cracked. So I'm gonna have to, uh, I think it'll be okay. And I'll show you why here in a little bit whenever I show you how these go together. But just to be safe, I'm gonna go grab uh, some metal straps. They make those real small ones at Lowe's that are kind of like those L brackets you just saw. And I'm gonna run one on, there's, the crack is right here. And so I'll run one from the underneath side going across that way and one going across that way. And uh, it should be just fine, but I think it'll be just fine even if I didn't do that based on how this thing goes together. But anyway, so let me show you what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever rescreened windows. I have had that great pleasure many a times in the line of work that I'm in. Um, so working with screening material is nothing new for me, but this is not like screening a window. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of quick measurements and we're going to measure from there to there and the height and i'm going to put some screen on and i'm going to staple it down that edge and down that edge and uh, do all four sides for two of them so i need to make a measurement and make uh, eight cuts of the exact same thing so that's what we're going to do for uh, this little screening project and now I just need to go get my knife and a tape measure and get after it. screened so no wasps get in it's not the prettiest thing if you're an upholsterer I commend you because uh, that just does nothing but get my frustration level to uh, I would say boiling point so I'm gonna do the other one real fast and then uh, I'm gonna show you 
how they stack together. Okay, so uh, here we go. We got the base and we've got the middle section with the screening all done. Nice and pretty like, because that's how I do things is just nice and pretty like. And so, you know, just imagine from the bottom, one side will be flat like this, and then the other side will have the pitch cut of the roof cut into it. Uh, so let me show you how these things stack real fast. Get the camera to set up. Okay. So I'm gonna pick this up, but I'm gonna show you something on the bottom side real quick. If you can see, can you see? Yep. This this right here is a is a, like a cleat. It's like a block. So it's going to sit just inside this base right here in this corner. And there's one in each corner. So let me show you how that's going to go. These are a little bit surprisingly heavy. My dad probably couldn't lift them at all. So it's a good thing I'm the one doing it and not him. Okay, so it slid down in, in all four sides, real snug and good. They actually went right in real good. So, um, so that's gonna, so it's, it's all supported right here on the outside. And then you can see these screw holes right here. And this thing connects to the base through those screw holes. And we'll do that after they cut the base. And then, like I said, with that metal strap, I feel like that corner on that one may not be that big of a deal because it is already supported underneath, but uh, just a little bit extra couldn't hurt. But as you can see, I'm gonna have to get it out here on the edge to make it work. So um, anyways, that's what uh, this thing's gonna look like. And then there'll be a copper top on it, on the top of it. So they'll be really cool looking. And uh, we will probably be installing them sometime next week. Hopefully I'll be here. We're supposed to go out of town to uh to broken bow so hopefully i'll be here for that um i'll request that i am so we'll see how it goes but uh anyways that's that's it for the uh, cupola part one video uh just kind of showing you what's going on with them we went over how to uh, screen the inside of one kind of like that's a little difficult big rocket science thing there um and then uh showing you how they went together so on the next video we will seal the tops and uh, we might install them on the next video but the uh the we might do one more of which is installation so anyways that's it for cupolas part one we'll see you next time up on the ridge